Okay, as I mentioned before, you should pay attention to detail. And right now, we're going to focus on texture for the sclera. So at this point, a reference photograph will be beneficial. All right? And let's go with a darker tone. And you should constantly be looking at your right, um, the second window for your document. Now we're basically just adding some shadows to the eyelashes. And a darker tone should be enough. And later on, we could add uh, the small highlights around the eyelashes. And we can actually pick white when we want to add the highlights here. But as I said before, um, a light gray should do. Now let's start adding some shadows under the eye. And you can make wrinkles this way as well. And we go shadow to light and right now we're using the scattering effect we did earlier and just keep adding it even to the skin if you want and let's go lighter okay I think I overdid it here. Alright, we can take it off now. Hmm. Okay, wait. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Alright, well, some shadows, I guess. Um, your, your eyes should not stay in one place. I'll say don't focus on one small section and instead if you see something that, that needs to be fixed or added do not wait do it right away and if you're unsure add a new layer and you can just delete that layer if you're not satisfied with the result and right now we're going over the eyelashes with black and adding some shadows and then we could add the highlights alright we could choose a color from the scattering effect that we had done before and that light color will be fine now these small details are the ones that will bring your whole painting uh, to realism and the only way to achieve this is working with a big resolution and obviously a small brush the same the same thing goes to when you're painting the hair and the skin. You need to work uh, with a bigger resolution. <clears throat> okay. And we're adding some scattering effect again on the sclera. Just make it more darker.
and keep building your colors all around the eye That looks good. More scattering. Let's go lighter. Yep. Now I'm just going around with the scattering effect uh, to the skin just to add some kind of um, pores and as well as some wrinkles right about here and I add in the, the highlight just so I don't I don't forget later on this way it will be easier just to notice Oh, okay, well, I need to add something here since I see this light color here. And as, as you get closer to finishing your your painting is a matter of adding shadows and highlights, shadows and highlights. And again, this is just uh, the first basic step to realism to add the extra detail. Uh, we need to use a hard edge brush this is where patience is a virtue I use the the scattering effect quite often and I don't need to add a new layer I just it's easier to go over uh, the scattering effect with with any brush really and any color on top Okay, now I'm just finishing a few touches here and there, adding some darker shadows with black, then blending in with the um, pink color that I had put on earlier. grab some gray usually the um, the clear is not white and you can notice that when you search for images if you can find stock images for for eyes pay close attention to the clear it's not really white looks good enough add some um, 
kind of reddish color on top of the pink that I had on earlier. And that looks fair enough. Okay, let me just. Okay, it's 38 minutes. Let me just show you that even with the basic step with the soft brush, you can still see the picture come to life. Now I'm just going over the layers that I have on my file. And as we keep adding detail, you can see the eyes do play a big role in a painting. Alright, well, I hope you learned something. And I can guarantee that you will be better at this if you practice.